Hi, everybody. For today's devotional thought, I want to talk to you about the God of all comfort. And I want to read to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, where we read this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. Again, that's 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. You know, sometimes people ask, how would you know? And it can be a valid question. When Paul claimed to know something about the God of all comfort, he speaks of this God as if he knows this God of all comfort on a first-person basis. So how would Paul know about God's comfort? I'll tell you how. Because he was constantly in uncomfortable circumstances where if he didn't have the comfort of God, he would have no comfort at all. Paul describes some of those uncomfortable circumstances later on in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 28. I'll just read to you some of it from this. Stripes, prisons, beaten, stoned, shipwrecked, perils of waters, robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, in perils of the Gentiles, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and toil, in sleeplessness often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. Now, if the man who went through all of that says that God is the God of all comfort, then I'm ready to believe him. You see, the comfort God brought to Paul wasn't a soothing song from a violin helping the troubled apostle to forget about all his problems. The word for all comfort in this passage is the ancient Greek word paraklesis. And the idea behind this word for comfort in the New Testament is always more than soothing sympathy. It has the idea of strengthening, of helping, of making strong. The idea behind this word is communicated by the Latin word for comfort. That's fortis, which also means brave. Now, when Paul says that God the Father is the God of all comfort, he says that the Father is a paraclete. No, not parakeet. Paraclete. Paraclesis is the ancient Greek word in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3. Now we know that the Holy Spirit is our paraclete, our comforter, our helper, our advocate. Jesus said so in John chapter 14 and 15 and 16. We know that God the Son is our paraclete, our helper, our advocate, the one who comes alongside to comfort us. That's according to 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, and Hebrews chapter 2, and Luke chapter 2. You see, God, in every aspect of his being, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is full of comfort and strength and help for us, for you. It gets even better. God isn't just full of comfort and strength for us. He's full of comfort and strength through us. This is what Paul meant when he wrote, that we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble. One great purpose of God's comfort to us is so that we can bring comfort to others. God's comfort can be given and received through others. Now, doesn't this explain why sometimes we go uncomforted? It is because we refuse to look for comfort or we refuse to receive comfort through another person. Often, We never receive the comfort God wants to give us because he wants to give it to us through another person. Pride can keep us from revealing our needs to others. So we'll never receive the comfort that God would like to give to us through them. Now think about it. With all the Apostle Paul suffered, he knew the great comfort of God. Sometimes God brought that comfort to Paul directly, and sometimes he brought it through another person. With such a great God, and with all three persons of the Trinity working to bring us comfort, there is no reason for us to go uncomforted. Let's put away the pride and receive his comfort, letting him decide how he's going to give it to us. Now that's a comforting thought. 